first one? Yes. First. Um, hi, my name is uh, Christian Lane. I'm running as an independent candidate for city council. Um, I'm number two on the ballot, in case anyone's wondering. <laughs> I've lived in White Rock. My wife and I moved here in 2004. Um, absolutely fell in love with this community. It's an incredible place to live. Um, spent most of my adult life here, as a matter of fact. We lived in East Beach uh, for most of those years and recently just moved to George Street uptown here uh, in the spring. My roots here go back a little bit further though because my grandmother moved here in the mid 90s uh, from Qualcomm Beach uh, when my grandfather was ailing, wanted to get her set up in a community that was walkable and, and had everything within reach. Uh, so he set her up in a, in a condo in Merkland. I used to come out and visit and run errands for her and that sort of thing. And even as far back as then, I remember thinking, wow, this is a, this is a pretty special place. Professionally, I've been a peace officer with the Canada Border Services Agency for over 17 years. Uh, you spent most of my uniform time working at the Peace Arch. Uh, probably encountered a number of you over that time. I was the nice officer. <laughs> um, and before anyone asks, uh, no, I've never been on the show of Border Security. And no, we don't have a big party at the end of the year with your seized alcohol. Um, I'm running as an independent for a reason. I'm running because independent representation is the best representation as we move forward. It speaks for you, and it gives you an opportunity to have seven individual voices speaking individually and representing the diversity of our community. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bill Lawrence. I'm running for the position of counselor in White Rock for this election. For those of you who don't know me, I've been here in White Rock for 30 years and bought the Sandpiper Pub with my ex back in 1997. In 2004, we opened up the Sandpiper Liquor Store in the Five Corners area, and we still run it together to this day. Now if I could run two businesses, with one of them for just under 20 years with an ex, then you know I'm a pretty good team player. <laughs> and I can provide a pretty good win-win solution to whatever concerns that may arise. I'm the past president of the White Rock Business Improvement Association and current director in the Samyama Community Safety Society and Fraser Valley Regional Library Board, of which our good old White Rock Library is a member of. What am I proud of for the last term? One thing is the policies that we've just implemented that allow long-time residents to stay in our community. That's a result of hard work, listening to the community, and doing what's right. And the election was coming up. Oh, okay, not much over there. Um, and that's just the beginning with our new housing initiatives. I'm excited to, about this opportunity to serve you for another four years on council. In the previous four years, we, along with our help, laid out the strong foundation. Vote Bill Lawrence for councillor. Thank you. Well, good evening, neighbors. Good to see all of you out here tonight. I'm sure most of you know who I am, David Chesney. But before I go any further, to all of you, I salute all of you uh, for putting your name forward and uh, taking that uh, leap of faith. So numbers, that's what we're talking about tonight, ladies and gentlemen, numbers. 35 years, it's been my home here in White Rock. People say, well, why did you run, Dave? Uh, you probably heard me say this before. At a young age, my dad said, Dave, put up or be quiet. If you're not prepared to roll up your sleeves and try to affect change, we're not really interested in what you have to say. When it came to White Rock, many of you know I couldn't shut up. I've just learned to temper it a little bit. The other number is four. This runs all the way through it. Are you happy with what happened in the last four years? I'm not particularly. Twelve high rises approved. I voted for nine or three of them because nine of them were outside of the town center, outside of the OCP, or needed the zoning lift. I didn't agree with that. I promised you in 2014 I would stick to the OCP. I have. I've held community conversations the first Saturday of every month. I voted to keep question period. I'll be in the community all the time. The other four is four votes on council and we take our city back. 
I don't care what mixture it is, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure, make those votes count. Think about the mayor, think about the councillors. Let's do it. Take our city back. Four. Remember that. That was your mayor. David, I already have brought my sleeves up. Moti Bali, I've lived resident of White Rock for the last 26 years. And I'm an independent because I believe having my own mind without being pressurized by political slates. I'm here to serve you. I consider all of you as part of my extended family. I have been here for the last 20 years in the different committees working. I think I'm one of the longest committee members in White Rock Council uh, uh, committees. And during that time with Mary Wade Anderson, we made the first in 2018, uh, 2018 uh, not 2000, 2008, we have a community plan, OCP, which has been terminated and misused, and we had no, in the plan, we did not have any uh, development over 34 feet up below thrift. And I, I, working with Matt Todd, who was a counselor, I was Winston Mango, in banning smoking on the patios and restaurants and public places. I also have uh, uh, represented the community in bloom and the official flower for White Rock that I presented was approved unanimously at the uh, uh, council as Nukta Rose and indigenous fragrant rose plant. I pledge, I give my full pledge that if elected, I would work, I have fire in my heart the five bypasses that I've had, and I, it does not deter me not serving you. Thank you. Imagine a city council that works for everyone and not just a few. My name is Erica Johansson, and I am running with Democracy Direct White Rock. I've lived in White Rock for nine years, I had been to some council meetings, but I didn't really get involved until the clear cut of the hump in 2015. That was a turning point for me. I received, I, I reviewed the OCP and I submitted a freedom of information request. I learned a lot from that experience. I learned that one of the councillors wanted to build a parkade on the hump. I learned that council and staff could make gross changes to our city without regard to the OCP. I learned that council makes a great number of decisions behind closed doors. In fact, there have been 73 such meetings since 2014, one of which was a decision to stop garbage removal over, for over half the residents and all of the businesses in White Rock. A bit about me, I have a degree in political science, but I worked in the IT field for over 30 years, most recently as an analyst and a project manager. I always brought my projects in on time and on budget. I worked for the city and county of San Francisco for a while, so I have a good understanding of how city government works. I believe that the residents of White Rock have been underrepresented for too long. It's time to take back City Hall and build this community together. Hey, good evening. Uh, Anthony Manning with Democracy Direct. It's impossible to share in 90 seconds all the ways to rebuild our community. Meeting with many of you over the past few months, I've heard your disappointment with the state of our city, but how can I as a counselor help turn that around? Let's start by bringing your voices back to City Hall. It's little things that will matter, such as publicizing, publicizing hearings well in advance and scheduling them at times that you can attend. Engage you outside of council through regular town halls. When a decision is made, you may not agree with it, but you need to know how and why that decision was made. That's not just transparency, it's also integrity. We need development, but not at the current pace. Businesses are struggling, sidewalks and streets are a mess, and longtime residents are fearful that they will have to move. Community-focused development can be just a few bylaws away. Plan major projects off-season. Minimize inaccessibility. Compensate businesses for lost revenue. We need safe drinking water. It's time to stop throwing good money after bad. 
hook up to Metro Vancouver because there is no safe level of arsenic in water. We need a city that works for you, the taxpayer. You deserve value for the services you pay for. A single source of garbage collection, for example. Expanded parks and green space. Planning that keeps new buildings at a livable scale. Vote for Anthony Manning and Democracy Direct on October 20th. Thank you.